Where are we at? Mommy coming out here and we're going to this fair thing. Some day in the park, who knows, some vendors and whatnot. I'm gonna check it out though. This boy is chomping at the bit. I don't think anyone needs to try to be like anybody else. If you're trying to be somebody else, that's going to come across and people are going to feel that like, oh, like the, the fakeness. But when you are being undeniably you and you are passionate about what you're doing, people feel that. It, it hits different. This is it. This is the new direction. Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. We are outside today. Um, don't mind my makeup, it's like half sweat, off, sweated off, sweat off, however you say that. Anyways, <laughs> because uh, I went to the gym earlier, but Ashman wants to say hello, say welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> okay, so today we have a little project going on. Joe actually just this weekend restained the deck here waterproofed all that good stuff we got a really good color this year last year <laughs> joe knows <laughs> we got a color and it was very orangey and nothing against that if you like that but we weren't a fan of it on ours up against our siding and everything we were like uh and we didn't really realize it until it was too late so <laughs> so we got a really good color i think it's chestnut brown but i'll show you guys the can if you like this color and you want to put it on your deck but i've been wanting to like redo some of our patio stuff because we want to make this a nice like hangout area in the summertime things like that because right now it's just kind of like sorry someone was going by it was loud <laughs> he's loud <laughs> Asher man is sweeping off the deck here. Good job, buddy. So we are going to make this a nice little outdoor oasis, nice hangout, things like that. I'm really sorry for all these shadows, you guys. The, the sun like just went under a little bit, so it's a little, little overcast. Let me show you what we're working with. I'm gonna show you the table and chairs that we have right now because of course, like yes, we could buy a table and chairs, but why buy it with, when you already got it and it could be just fixed up, you know? We got some new cushions. I'll show you the new cushions, the theme, the color theme I will tell you guys is going to be black white and like turquoise or aqua check out these chairs that we got they have these like everywhere ah, I love these chairs guys like this is not a paid promotion or anything but my mom has red chairs like these and I've wanted these chairs for probably three years and I just have never like thought to stop and get them and they are so freaking comfortable but we got some pillows to put on them, nice little outdoor pillows to pull in the black and white cushions. It's it's gonna be super cute. You cleaning everything off? Mm -hmm. You're doing very good. Okay, so here's what we're working with for the table. Okay, we got a round table. It's got like a double layer here for this like serving, yeah. the squeaky serving whatever turner that turns. <laughs> Okay, okay, quit squeaking for a second. Thank you. And then it's got this down below. So this is what we're working with. This is, we're going to be cleaning up the glass because it is dirty, it's so dirty. <laughs> and then we are going to be taping off these edges. This is going to be really tedious, but we're going to do it. This could uh, totally turn out bad, but we're going to see. So this is the table we're working with. This is what we're wanting to spray with the hammered black. And then here are the chairs we got. I should sit in one. I know you're sitting in one. <laughs> we have five chairs. Yes, I know, five. Odd number, it bugs me too. But um, because it's a round table, we have five chairs. So obviously we have some rust spots here. Nasty, we gotta get rid of these. Um, so we will be using the sandpaper for that. So let's go look, take a look at all the materials we got laid out. Okay, and here are our materials here. So we've got the plastic drop cloths. Um, I grabbed these two, not knowing that we had a whole container uh, or a whole bag of three of them. <laughs> so we have a lot of drop cloths. And then we also, I grabbed some frog tape to tape around the edges there. And then I got a fine grit sandpaper sanding block. This is a little bit more coarse grit to kind of just initially get some of that stuff off. And then I went with this spray paint. I went with the hammered, um, from the from rust-oleum and we went with black it's I don't know I don't feel like it's like 
it probably looks like it on the camera but when I'm looking at it it doesn't look like black black which I don't really care if it is but <laughs> um, I just thought with the hammered texture of it it might hide a little hide a little bit more of the imperfections things like that so I grabbed six cans of it hoping that that will be enough we have five chairs and a table so let's see how far this gets us if we have extra if we don't have extra we got to get more who knows and then I just grabbed like a little junky like paintbrush to finish up some of the edges right around here on the deck. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, and then Asher Man, you know, wanted to be safe with the spray paint, so he grabbed one of the masks as well. <laughs> okay, so we have plastic on the top of the table here. We are starting to tape, and as I'm going, uh, I only got this far, and I learned something real tricky and nifty so that you don't gotta try to go around these, like, edges and, like, bend it like this one looks way messier this one looks taped way cleaner let me show you real quick what I'm doing okay so trick is smaller the pieces the better because we're working with a round surface here folding this back okay so that you have the glass to tape to and then all I'm doing is I'm kind of like sliding this under this little ledge here just like that so that way it's under there completely and you can like spray all there and it's not gonna get on the glass, which it's fine if it does get on the glass a little because you can scrape it off, but it's just an extra step you don't wanna have to do. So um, if your table has that little ledge where the tape can go under, try to slide it under first and then press it onto the plastic and then it's like nice and flush. All right, and Ash man, what are you doing over here? Let me see that face. That is a face that's been hard at work. <laughs> what do you got? Sanding block. Sanding block. Okay, and you're sanding the armrest? Oh my goodness, you are doing great, sir. We got a future DIYer here. Hi, Dees, how's it going? Oh, you are hard at work. Good job, buddy. Okay, so I've got some plastic out here on the deck. I uh, felt like Dexter setting this all up here. <laughs> Um, and it, let me just tell you, it is a windy day and this was not brilliant. So anyways, I have got my spray paint here. I got a glove on because, you know, I don't want to mess up the nails. Um, so I'm going to shake this up and we're going to spray this on and see what this looks like. a little experience with spray painting. Okay, so here's the first initial look. It is still wet. I just sprayed it. Didn't take long, but my finger is definitely cramped up. <laughs> that, compared to this, I think it turned out pretty good, actually. Um, we might have to spray some spots after it dries. It's kind of, like I said, it's patchy because it's wet, so I got to see how it dries, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I just flipped the table over. I got everything underneath sprayed here. Don't mind the mess back over here because, you know, we were under construction. But anyways, um, so got this all sprayed, flipped the table over, and then I sprayed this top rim. It looks really, really nice. Um, obviously, I have the nice newspaper underneath there. I got to get that off. But once I pulled the plastic off, I taped around here and sprayed that so that looked new too. It's really going to bug me that I can't spray this gray thing under here, but... It is what it is. Dad's home. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all the chairs are done. My finger now, where's my, there we go. It, it's like all red right here and right here. Definitely, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you can do about that. Maybe not try to do it all in one day. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna have a blister. Anyways, chairs look good. Dun, dun, dun. So now we just gotta see if we need to make any touch-ups once I, they're dry and I flip these over. The next day. Recording, we got more stuff going on out here now. Pillows are out, getting these hooked up. The cushions, look at the stripes and that table, the way it gleams in the sun. It's gleaming, it's gleaming. It's not recommended to get one of these little tray things. They're oh hard gosh, to clean. no. Hard to clean. Hard to clean, but dang, this thing is looking good. Can't wait for the unveiling. kind of cheaper ones just because they're gonna be outside and who knows how long they're gonna last that's right <laughs> this is the official box here six dollar dollar general it's like everything there's going up in value apparently true living outdoors edison style lights
gosh, you guys, we are so happy with how things are turning out, out on our little, uh, what have you, what, my, I, I keep wanting to say like tiki something, something, something tiki, I don't know, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, we have been some busy, busy bees working on this whole little like oasis of ours. Okay, that's what I, that's the word I was trying to think of. Why was I th why was I thinking tiki? I was thinking I'm trying to think. I can't form words. I'm tired, you guys. If you can't tell by my eyes, I'm tired. I am running on little sleep, okay? And I need to go to bed. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, um, I would highly recommend if you are trying to like save some money if you already have like a patio table and chairs sprucing it up with some spray paint yes it is tedious it is time consuming my finger is still sore from the spraying <laughs> but it was so worth it it looks brand new and we are really really happy with it we ate dinner out there tonight and it was just so relaxing we put up the lights the only other thing we're gonna i think we were thinking about adding is like some of those um some of those little like tiki torches, you know, keep the bugs away, things like that. And then I did tell Joe that I thought it would be cool to add like a little like, like one of those bark cart type things, but like homemade, like DIY version of it. So I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. I've got some other ideas, but I'll keep you guys updated along the way. So if you guys have any like tips and tricks or like some cool like outdoor stuff that you have in your little outdoor area, let me know. Like I said, we're trying to make this our little like summer like oasis right out our back door. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, if you have any questions about anything that we used, anything like that, drop them down below. We will answer to the best of our ability. We are not pros by any means, but we do enjoy doing these DIY projects. And like you guys seen, the umbrella, the chair cushions, the like aqua turquoise blue colored like comfy chairs, like those things, and the tribally pillows. Those were all from Walmart. And then the pitcher and the glasses, like the cutesy stuff that went with it, the citronella candle, that was all Dollar General. We were, we were being real thrifty, you guys. <laughs> Dollar General is Asher's favorite store. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, don't forget, hit that subscribe button before you leave, and we will